Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Today, I've got three more bikes. Um, this is a 2001 Yamaha TTR90, 2007 TTR125, and 2003 TTR225. Most excited about this bad boy. <laughs> um, got them all for pretty cheap. This one, Starts and runs. Starts up real nice and easy. Um, this one, they've all been sitting for two years. The guy was just able to get that one cleaned up for me. This one needs a carved clean like a soak. Um, and a new battery and new throttle cable and grip and basically throttle assembly. This one needs a carb um, a carb deep clean as well. And other than that, this one's good. So yeah, today I'm just gonna be uh, fixing them up and hopefully get these two running and uh, I'll have to put a new front fender on this one. All right, so uh, I was just testing the tank and turns out that this, that the uh, petcock isn't working properly. So I'm gonna have to drain the tank and take off that petcock and then soak it with the carburetors. All right guys, so Petcock's pretty bad. I mean, the air filter element is just so dilapidated. Like I got, so I'm gonna have to, or not the air filter, the fuel filter. So I'm gonna have to get some new fuel filters for this. And I'm gonna have to soak this with the carb because that, <laughs> there's no wonder the bike wasn't getting any fuel. All right, guys, so now I'm going to remove the carburetor from this and from the 225. All right, guys, well, I'm also gonna have to take off the tank because that's gonna be, need to be drained and the petcock on this is totally crap, just like the 91. All right, got the tank off and uh, Let's turn the petcock onto the on position and see what happens. Yeah. Nothing's coming out of there. All right, so I'm just gonna take that off and then we'll have to soak it. Um, I'll have to, let's see if this gas is even any good. I mean, probably not. Almost definitely isn't, but I know, I mean, it's, it's not bad, but you know what, it's been sitting for two years, so I'm going to drain it anyway. Um, I should have a spare gas can.
Alright guys, got the car soaked and all back together, so now it's time to put it back on the bike. Alright guys, so got the tank back on with fresh fuel in it. I uh, slapped on a temporary battery and she fires right up. Runs good all throughout the RPM range, all five gears. Really happy with this, so hopefully we can get that 90 going and the 225 going just like this. Alright guys, time to take the 225 carb apart. All right, guys, so I blew some air through all the jets and passageways, and it actually looks like they're all good. So I think the reason it stopped running was just because of the bad gas. Uh, so, yeah, it looks like it's time to put this thing back together. Um, I'm not going to waste my time cleaning it just because it's already clean. Uh, so, yeah, I'm just going to drain the gas from the 225, and uh, she should run again. So... Alright guys, so just got all the plastics and the seat on. Runs really nice now, shifts through all the gears cleanly. So yeah, this is going great for all the bikes. Except for the 90. Uh, I guess I'm thinking it just needs to be tuned, so I'll keep working on that. But yeah, stoked that the 225 and 125 are up and running now. Alright, guys, so um, the forks are uneven uh, on the triple clamps, so I'm gonna take off the bolts and adjust that. Alright guys, so now I'm going to adjust the float height because it does leak when I have the fuel on, so I'm going to adjust the float height real quick.
All right, so adjust the float height a little bit. Should be just about perfect now, and I had to clean some of the gunk out of here. I don't even know where that came from, honestly, but uh, yeah, at least it's out now, so now I can start putting the carburetor back together. Alright guys, so now everything's back together. I apologize for all the noise, by the way. So now it's time to put um, the tank on and see if it leaks still. Alright guys, so it uh, doesn't appear to be leaking, which is good. So I got a battery for this. Um, so yeah, now I can just slide that in there. Ooh, just barely fits. So let's put this in. And then I also got a kill switch because when I bought it, it didn't have a key. All right, so I think I'm just gonna put the kill switch right in the middle of the bars. Alright, so kill switch is on now. Just gonna loop this down here. Alright, so these are the wires that I need to put on. So I'm just gonna have to splice this connector off real quick. So now all I gotta do is unwrap these guys. And connect them to the kill switch. All right, so that's just temporary. I'm just gonna see if it works. So it does work, it's just backwards. Strange. All right, well, whatever. I guess this is gonna be backwards, but that sucks. So now let's just get some electrical tape. All right, so now it's complete. So yeah, um, that's the 125 all done there's not really anything i can think of so that one's all ready ttr 225 i'm still waiting on the front fender but that's about it for the 225 and then the 90 i still gotta figure out why that won't run so all right guys got the new fender for the uh 225 so let's put it on Man, I can't believe I'm saying this, but this isn't even the right fender. It doesn't have the spots for the number plate, which I, by the way, took off the white part. It looks cleaner that way. 
All right, so now I'm going to uh, wash the 225 and the 125. I would wash the 92, but that one's apart right now, and so I don't wanna get water in the motor. guys so my pet cock was leaking in the off position and it was also uh, draining gunk into the carburetor and now I see why <laughs> it's got a ton of crap in there and uh, it looks like the uh, o-ring came out of its uh, spot so Oh, yeah, so I'm just gonna scrape that out of there. I'm gonna put new fuel line on and uh, put all, everything back together and hopefully it'll be good to go. All right, so the TTO 225, she starts right up and it runs, but it kind of runs like crap. Um, it has absolutely no torque. So just did some a little bit of work on this. I. Uh, lost the key so I got a new ignition for it so that's nice and I also had to uh, clean up the carb and it runs a little bit better but I found that it runs it only runs really good when it's on the choke and that, that actually kind of makes sense because this winter it's colder, needs more fuel, and these things are tuned really lean from the factory to save fuel. So this thing is all good to go now. It runs good, um, starts up pretty easy. So yeah, that's nice. So this is good, 125. I sold that one for 2000, which is pretty good considering I paid like what, 1100 for it put you know maybe 50 bucks into it so that's pretty good pretty happy with that um, probably gonna end up selling this one and then I was finally able to get the 90 going um, I had to put new carb on it head job a couple other things and it runs really great now um, usually starts up first or second kick That's pretty cool. Um, I did the 90. I did all the work on the 90 in a separate video just because this one had already, you know, this one's already at like 25 minutes. So I didn't want to add. I just wanted to keep it a little bit shorter. But uh, yeah, I'm, all, I'm selling this one to someone because it's just a little bit too small. Uh, someone's coming to look at it right now. I was asking 1950 for it, so we'll see if it sells. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please consider uh, liking and subscribing. And if you want to see all the stuff I did on this one, um, I'll put a link to this one in the description once I'm done editing it. And uh, yeah. I'll see you guys on the next one.